So, yeah, so we get this lumber mill. Orange doesn't want to give it up easy, but we still end up getting it. Uh, if you look at my base, I'm pumping mortars, going tier 3. So I'm going to have tier 3 mortars by the time by the time we're done done with our harassment we we've been basically on their side of the map the, for like the fucking whole like harassment like we haven't left like OJ is still trying to recover we just got his lumber mill so we're going up to just check to see if we can creep jack or something they'd already crept this camp so I just checked to see what's at the shop really quick nothing good so I'm going up top to see if I can do anything, but I I realize I have enough mana. I'm going to go fuck with OJ more, so I pinged a pink to let's go harass some peons. And I notice he has two arcane towers, so I'm going to send my footmen in or ask pink to lead because you never want your AoE to tank the arcane towers because you're just going to run out of mana so quickly. So I send... So Pink's going in and I send my footmen in just to kind of suicide him, which is going to give me more food for mortars anyway. So I just send my footmen in to just tank the initial blast, and I just get the, uh, I get his peasants off. I don't get any from the initial burn. I end up getting one, and I think that's it, but it doesn't really matter. Because the, the point of AoE is to just kind of just kind of get them off their game. It's not necessarily it's not necessarily to to kill mass amounts of peasants. It's just to throw their game off. Because even though I didn't get any peasants, he's not mining gold right now, and he's like he's just thrown off gen generally, and it's gonna take him time to recover. Plus, I I've been I've been on his economy all game. Now if you look at my base, I have mortars ready to go. And we're going to go attempt to haul blue. The good thing about mortars or bats, stuff like that on friends, is that each base has two openings, the front and the back. And and you can the mains are pretty close together, so you can almost get two mains if you're quick enough. You can get two mains before they can even TP, and then you can just take your time killing all the tier 2 buildings and stuff like that. So I see blue is coming. I didn't want to lose any mortars, so I pop a speed scroll, and I banish him so he's not going to chase me as much as he might have if I hadn't, hadn't popped a speed scroll. If you look at top, we pretty much green and teal are going to go, so we pretty much have a, a split rush ready to, or a split hit ready to go I see blue here so I'm just gonna back up I lose a, a few mortars but that's okay um yes yeah, so blue is seeing what he can do I tell pink to TP because I do not want to lose any of these mortars and I only have one arcane tower so it's not gonna really stop him so I'm definitely gonna need pink here so he TPs once he's done with that camp and then the split hit will commence okay so we get blue to TP so now the mortars can do their job which is going to be to attempt to haul haul someone or at least kill some buildings one thing when you go units like mortars or units like bats, stuff like that, I think it's kind of relying on the fact that you're going to mess your opponent up a little. Because mortars and bats, stuff like that, they aren't really, they aren't really combat accessible. They're not as strong as, as non non building killing units. So, if you do go like mortars or bats, I think it's always good to keep the pressure on and try to kill at least some buildings. Because that's going to make up for the fact that you don't really have combat ready units. Your units aren't as good in combat as maybe some other units like Torn or Knights, stuff like that. So I think it's good and you have to, you have to kind of equal it out by messing with their economy to even out the fact that your units aren't really that strong in a, in a straight up battle. So you're going to kind of make them fight on your terms. 
So I go for the gold mine. We noticed that they were kind of waiting, waiting at the back entrance, so we just went around. I got that gold mine in a, in a matter of like two seconds, which is amazing. And I'm going for peasants. I don't get the main, which is surprising to me because I probably could have got it. But I end up just getting a couple more ziggurats and then I, I use the morts, the morts and AODE to kind of try to pick off his fiends. I noticed red TP so I just want my morts to have a field day on that. I just got like six archers in one volley so I was happy with that. <laughs> and this is good because in 4v4 whenever you can you kind of want to force, you want to force more more than more of their team than your team to kind of be in battle if that makes sense like you don't want to necessarily fight a 1v1 or a 2v2 or a 3v3 you kind of want to fight a 1v2 you want to fight a 2v3 because that's gonna force them to to waste more tps than you and your goal then is to just to kill as much as you can without losing losing as much and that's gonna really equal out if if you keep just split hitting, split hitting, split hitting, and they need three people to stop two of you, because I've messed with Orange's, for instance, I've messed with Orange's economy. So Orange isn't really a fighting force, so Orange and Orange and Blue can't take Pink and I. So it's gonna so they're gonna constantly need help from someone else. And then Top's gonna need help from someone else because they're they're TPing everywhere. They can't be everywhere at once, if that makes sense. So you're kind of trying to force a, a 1v2 or a 2v3, stuff like that. Because that's going to that's gonna add up pretty quick. Because if you look right now, they can't take, they can't take uh, teal and green. They need, they need blue too. So blue and orange are, are going up there. And now they're gonna need to come back down, and they're gonna they're gonna pay dearly for not being able to kind of equally fight because we've been messing with Orange's economy. So I'm gonna go for Blue's Hall. I believe I get it here, unless he. Yeah, it's always good when they're healing, also to try to flame strike the repairing units, which I don't believe I get right here. No, I don't. I, I siphon his mana instead. But yeah. Also, I noticed that they're starting to go air. They have frosties and they have they have destroyers. So once the initial sh once the initial damage of Mortz is dealt, for instance, I I hauled him and I got his gold mine. Once that initial damage is done, it's time to switch.